Okay, so you've spent countless hours fine-tuning your template, and even the slightest adjustment could throw it all off balance. But what if I told you that by making one simple change, you could massively streamline your workflow and unlock a powerful new set of tools to help you create better music? I'm Ryan Thomas at East West, and here are the top 10 reasons you should switch from Play to Opus. One of the most time-saving new features of the Opus player is the ability to audition instruments without having to load them. So all you have to do is select the patch, and Opus will play a short sample of that instrument. You can turn this feature on or off and also adjust the volume. Now, once you're in the play page, you can still cycle between instruments in the same subfolder using this new selector in the top toolbar. The audition feature even works with instruments that you haven't downloaded or installed yet. And if you want to install just a single instrument without downloading the entire library, you can just click on this cloud icon and it's now ready to play. Opus comes with a suite of new MIDI tools, like this MIDI compressor that I'm gonna use to keep this canoon in the sweet spot of its dynamic range, and like this humanizer that will make it sound more organic and natural. The old Play Engine did include a few basic mixing effects, but the new Opus Player features a much larger selection of effect plugins and a vastly improved workflow in the mix page. So I noticed that some of the bass frequencies in this low brass patch were conflicting with some of the other instruments in this multi. So I used this EQ to cut out some of the lows and low mids. And then I also just wanted to make this sound a little bit more epic. So I added this stereo delay. So here it is before the effects. And here it is after. Opus features sophisticated audio signal flow options that give you the ability to route instruments, mic positions, and even send effects in Opus to individual tracks in your digital audio workstation. And that can be really critical if you wanna do things like, say, apply reverb to only certain mic positions. So let's see how this works using this short piano demo. So let's start with the close mic. And we're gonna mix in some reverb. Now let's add the player mic. And add some reverb as well. And finally, we're gonna add the room mic. Opus features advanced controller mapping and custom macro creation. So all you have to do to assign an instrument control to your keyboard is right click on it, select learn MIDI assignment, and then just move a knob or a slider. And it's really as easy as that. And you can see the mapping that you just created in the automation page. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this for now. So right now the mod wheel only controls vibrato on this patch. So let's go ahead and map CC1 and CC11 to my mod wheel. So I'm gonna select add macro. I'm gonna assign this to CC1 and I'm gonna add two targets. And then we're just going to drag CC1 and CC11 to these targets. So now, One of the most groundbreaking new features of the Opus Player is the ability to load samples on demand. So right now this patch is using 707 megabytes of RAM, but we only need the samples to play back these two notes. So I'm gonna go ahead and purge it, and then Opus is only gonna load what's necessary to play back this passage. The 
key switch patches in Opus are infinitely more flexible than they were in Play. So in the new articulations matrix, you can choose which articulations are loaded and you can assign them to a variety of different controllers. You can also make your own custom key switches in the perform page using instruments from the same library or from entirely different east-west libraries. So in this example, velocity is being used to switch between the various articulations. One of the most inspirational new features of the Opus player is the moods, which affect the dynamic response and mic mix of an instrument. So here are some violin shorts in the soft mood, classic mood, and epic mood. Now let's hear these moods in action with the new expanded content from Hollywood Orchestra Opus Edition, which can only be accessed in the Opus player. So we'll start with the new woodwind ensembles in the soft mood. And here are the new 18 violins in the classic mood. And here are the new two trumpets and two trombones in the epic mood. Hands down, one of the single best reasons to upgrade from play to opus is so you can access the revolutionary new Hollywood Orchestrator, which is a user-customizable smart arranger that allows you to write professional-sounding scores in minutes. So here is a preset from our adventure pack. And here's one from our action pack. And of course, the number one reason to switch from play to opus is so you can access our bleeding edge new hybrid cinematic synth library, Forbidden Planet, which features sweeping ARP synths, some absolutely brutal basses, and lush, massive pads. And one last thing to mention is that Opus does run natively on Apple Silicon. It's not just a slow emulation. So those are the top 10 reasons you should switch from play to Opus. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.